Um, but then we see the major thing, I think over probably the last 30 or 40 years, is there's so many accursed gospels and works-based salvation gospels coming into churches. People nowadays, you, you go to your local church on the corner and if a pastor is having an altar call or saying a sinner's prayer or some type of statement of faith, the first thing out of their mouth is, we got to repent of our sins and make Jesus the Lord of our life for to be saved. And people are saying, oh, of course, we have to do that. That's a false gospel. That's completely false. That's works. That's works is turning repenting of your sins and making Jesus the Lord of your life. We don't make Jesus the Lord of our life for salvation. You know, he died for us. We receive his life. We don't make him the Lord of our life. That's part of discipleship and that's a lifelong process. Don't mix salvation with discipleship, but that's what a large majority of Christendom does nowadays is make this muddy, false gospel, this lordship salvation, this lordship damnation that does nothing but curse the gospel. It saves no one. You know, and I made that point. I went to a church that you know, is attended by thousands of people a week uh, in my area. And they'll preach the gospel and then at the end, they'll say um, this, this sinner's prayer, this come to faith, you know, and, and say something along the lines of, you know, ask Jesus into your heart and, you know, make him the Lord of your life. And, you know, these people are going away thinking that they are saved and that is part of salvation, not understanding the free gift and how to receive it through faith in Jesus Christ. It's His finished work on the cross, that He died for our sins according to Scripture, that He was buried and rose again according to Scripture, that His resurrection overcame death for us and we trust in that, what He did, not what we do, it's what He did, but they're not preaching that. And so these people that are going to these churches and trying to understand they're being fed a false gospel. And I made this point to one of my friends one time, and I told him, I wish they would stop doing this. I wish they would stop preaching this accursed gospel. And they didn't even know what I was talking about. And I explained it to him. And I, I said, if you ask everyone that raised their hand, that wanted to be saved and said this prayer at the end of this sermon, that repent of your sins, make the Lord of your life, make Jesus Lord of your life, ask him into your heart, um, for salvation and you come back a week later and ask them how do you know you're going to heaven they're gonna say because I gave my life to Jesus Christ last week at church you didn't give your life to Jesus Christ for salvation he gave his life to you for salvation you receive it freely that's the gospel but these churches because of these modern translations because of these damnable heresies that are coming in are preaching this accursed gospel this is the departing of the faith that these verses are talking about. This is the unsound doctrine and getting teachers that are tickling the ears, um, not preaching the truth, um, but teaching and preaching what people want to hear, um, the feel good, or I'm doing something, I'm a part of this. Um, you know, it's, it's simply just um, end times departing of the faith.